So what is the relationship between power spectral density at the input and power spectral density at the output? So for some general LTI system where you have the output as being the output yf is being equal to the input multiplied by the transfer function in the time domain. Let's see that because of this definition, we can say that because if you have the output squared, that is equal to the input squared multiplied by the transfer function, or similar to the energy spectral density, we can say that the power spectral density of the input function multiplied by the coefficient of the transfer function squared is equal to the power spectral density at the output. So take your input, take the, in, the power spectral density of your input, multiply it by your transfer function squared, and that is going to give you the output power density. And this is very similar to the energy spectral density relationship that we saw previously.